What's up guys, Brendan Hancock here with another episode of Groove Subaru Today, and today we're gonna take a look at how to install your Subaru Outback Aero Crossbars. Now, the cool thing about the Outback, that it's a little bit different than all of the other Subaru models that we have, is that your crossbars actually come with the car and are built into the top here. The reason that they do that is for wind noise. So whenever you're not actually using them, you can simply store them into the sides up here and keep it so that you're not getting as much wind noise. If you take a look at the Touring Outback, the Touring Outback specifically is the only Outback trim level that has a little bit different aero crossbars than what we're talking about here today. Uh, you'll also see things on the aero crossbars on the Crosstrek and Forester that are a little bit different or similar to those that you'll see on the Touring Outback. So why don't we take a look and see how you can put these together for you. All right, so now we are on top of the Outback. It's gonna be kind of hard to shoot here, but pretty simple concept here. On both sides here, on the front on your passenger side, on the back over there on the, on the uh, driver's side, you have these little latches here, and they're gonna be opposite of one another. So on this side, you know, on the side I'm on, and then over there, over there. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna pull this latch up, and that's gonna sort of, uh, you know, disconnect the arrow crossbar itself. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of put that there gently. I'm gonna swing around this way, super fast and smooth. And then I'm gonna do the same thing I did kind of over here. Here's this little latch. And you'll see sort of kind of where they go. You can kind of tell, because they're lined up to fit in. So all I gotta do, usually better to have two people doing this, it's a little bit difficult, but they do fit in really easily. So I've got a latch right here, it's gonna fit in, and then when I let it go there, that kind of locks it into place. So now I'm gonna swing around back over here again. Yes, super cool and smooth. Lift that up. Now both of those are sort of locked into place. Now you're gonna see uh, a second sort of place where these can go over here and what that's for is it's to allow you you'll see these kind of spots right here and what that is for is to allow you to extend these this back one uh, back a little bit farther in case you have a really really heavy load or something like that that you need to put up top and you want to sort of dissipate the weight a little bit better so I will show you how to do that all you have to do is grab the wrench that's in the back for that exact purpose Cut right there. All right. So in the back here, you guys have, if you kind of lift up your cargo tray and then under here, where all your sort of jacks and tools and things of that nature are, you have this little sort of Allen wrench tool thingy um, that is designed for the exact purpose of uh, adjusting that back there for you. So, now, the only time you really want to do this, and I'm not actually going to disconnect it uh, for this purpose exactly today, but you can see here, so the star-tipped Allen wrench here, uh, it simply loosens up right here, and you can disconnect that and then move this one over. You'll see how you have the star-tipped kind of a uh, female end right here for it, so you can kind of, it just goes right where this is. And then on this side, I'll come actually, it'll be easier to look, uh, on this side it's just going to fit right over there into that little tunnel thing. So pretty simple fit right over there. And then only on this side are you actually going to have to adjust with the, uh, the Allen wrench here to loosen it. Now, I'm not actually gonna fully disconnect it, but you can see here, pretty simple. Um, not too much actual work there for you. So cool, cool. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have found this a little bit helpful. Uh, if you didn't know that you could adjust these back, you can, so that's super cool. And if you guys haven't done so already, subscribe today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time on Group Super Today.